bringing Martian samples back to Earth is going to be vital if we are ever going to prove that there was life on Mars. But there is an outside possibility that those samples could also cause a problem for life on Earth. Welcome. Oh, I mean, I've got to say there are badges of every mission that I grew up with here. So what's this room? This is the spacecraft assembly facility. It's where all of the magic happens. Every single spacecraft built at JPL was assembled in this room. Mugega Cooper is one of the people whose job it is to make sure that our planet stays safe. So you, you have one of the best job titles, I think, which is Planetary Protection Lead for Mars 2020. So what is planetary protection? Planetary protection is twofold. Right? We have to make sure that as we send spacecraft out into the solar system, uh, whether to planets, moons, uh, or, or asteroids, we have to make sure that we don't spread our contaminants to those places of interest, especially if it could harbor life. And the flip side, if we were to bring samples back to our own planet, we have to make sure our planet is protected from anything that might be harmful out there. So are we worried about microbes from Mars? Yeah, in fact, the assumption is to handle it as if it's hazardous until proven otherwise. The level of precaution that is going to be taken with these samples is that of a hazardous material. So when, when we bring the samples back, so we, we've, we've heard this audacious sort of idea, I mean, Mars sample return yeah. is terrifying, right, from an engineering yeah. perspective. But essentially, you're going to crash it into Utah, mm -hmm. right? A now controlled that's, crash. I know that's a not the language you yeah. use. <laughs> it's going to be a controlled descent. There we go. Without Perfect. parachutes <laughs> yeah. into Utah. So what is the procedure from then on? So you have this capsule, sealed capsule, yeah. in the desert. What happens to it? The goal in general is to take that capsule, bring it to a facility that is unlike any facility that exists today on our planet, to safely contain anything that might be in that sample while we open it up, extract the samples, and, and interrogate it scientifically. So it will be, a, it will be we will build a bio lab yes. like no other. Exactly. Essentially. Yeah. For the Martian samples, NASA is planning on creating the most biosecure laboratory ever built. More secure than the labs like these that handle lethal diseases like Ebola and smallpox. But while taking all possible precautions is definitely the right thing to do, it's probably too late to protect us from Martian contamination. When we speak about planetary protection, that sort of gives a sense that Mars and Earth are completely isolated from each other. But that's certainly not the case, because this is a piece of Mars. It's from a Martian meteorite that fell in Nigeria in 1962. Now that raises an interesting possibility, because if rocks can be transferred from Mars to Earth, and actually that 500 kilograms of Mars floats down onto the Earth every year, then maybe so can life. The idea that life could migrate between the planets may sound incredible, but there are scientists who believe it's possible that life could have arisen on Earth and been carried to Mars on a meteorite. And it's also possible that life began on Mars and was transported to the Earth. <laughs>